I've had this for two years now and I never built it. Sorry, wrong video. And now for something completely different. Elegoo sent me an email and they asked me if I wanted to do a review on the Owlbot. Now, this is Arduino based and I like sitting down and working on Arduino stuff because I've done it for a long time and it's it's interesting to me. It's, it's pure electronics. I love electronics. Because I've got a brand new workbench, lovely, well not workbench, I've got a cover, I've got the mat, the cut, it, the, this thing. Anyway, they sent me an email and they said, do you want to do a review on this? Now it's not really, I'm not going to give you my opinion on it because I don't think there's an opinion to be given. It's an educational toy. It's 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 a sort of thing that if you want to get into Arduino, I don't really think there's any better way of actually doing it apart from picking up an Arduino and off you go. But to do the robotics side of it with an Arduino, you need all the added bits and pieces. This has got it all inclusive. Now, if you want to sit and build this with your kids or let your kids have a go and build it the instructions are very detailed everything's in the box to actually get it working absolutely everything from what I can see I haven't actually opened it I don't know what's in it yet looking at the reviews and everything it's a fantastic piece of kit and it ain't that expensive for what it is anyway let's dive into it and open the box I've got to be upbeat because YouTube says I've got to be. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> so we have a piece of paper. A big pit. Oh, is this the line tracking? Yes. That's this is the line tracking thing. Let's let's get that in wide angle. Full wide angle. Oh, look at that, with all the destructions on it. What they've done is, with the ultrasonic sensors on the front, uh, they've basically done it into an owl face. They could have done it into a dog or a cat or a squirrel. So you've got all your car body, your control board, which is going to be Arduino based, which has got Bluetooth. Has it got Wi-Fi on it? I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look into it. So you've got all the bits and pieces. Has it got a battery? Yes, it's got... The lithium battery, it's actually got a battery. Tires, wheels, screw package, expression panel. Ultrasonic sensor, line tracking module, LED dot matrix module, motor, control board. They even give you a screwdriver with it. Battery box, car body, USB cable and RJ20, RJ25 cables. Bit of a strange one, but hey ho. Battery life, two hours. Line tracking mode. I think you'd be a bit pissed. And it weighs 490 grams. Anyway, there's that. Step two, install the motor. Car body. So obviously I need the car body. Wow, it's aluminium frame. Wonder if it's aircraft grade. <laughs> Are you getting into that one again? One goes in there. And that goes through there, and that goes through there, and then the nuts go on there with my big fat fingers. I don't know how to sound enthusiastic about anything. It's not in my nature. I hate these YouTube insider bloody things, and they say, "Oh, go and have a look at this, and and do this, and and be very very upbeat about everything." But but why? And why do why do people say things like? I'm super happy and I'm super excited and super, super excited. Why can't you just be f excited? That's uh, step number two, which is the motors. That was easy. Number three, the battery easily comes off. Look. Oh, it's a LiPo. Uh, an 18 million, uh, 18 million hundred amps. It's an 18 million hundred amp LiPo. Single cell, 3.7 volts. The screwdriver is even magnetised, look. That's fantastic. That's step number three done. That's easy. Step number four. Looks like the tyres go on the gear. Which, yeah, this might be a point where you help your kids, because otherwise they're going to get themselves injured. 
little fingers and everything else trapped in these. I can see that going bloody wrong. That's step number four. Step number five, install line tracking module. I presume that's a line tracking, yes. There's a line tracking module. Here's a universal wheel. Six, install LED dot matrix module. LED dot matrix module. Expression panel. That fits on there. That won't stand up, will it? Yes. This is therapeutic. I'm enjoying it. Number seven, install the ultrasonic sensor, which is that one. See, all these are, I mean, you can buy them, they're dirt cheap, these bloody sensors. They're basically um, distance sensors. The sensor is installed behind the expression panel, so that's got to go on there. And then you get a nut with your fat fingers, so that bolts onto there, literally bolts on. Install the main control board, which is one control board. Wow, that's beefy. So that, that's probably going to be Bluetooth or upload. So you can program it or, yeah. Battery, mode. Is that, le Is that size for a Lego? That's actually got a Lego block on the top there. That is, isn't it? I don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few bloody decades since I've been playing with Lego. So we put the main screws in and then we'll put the main board on. Somebody said to me, uh, one of the comments on one of my recent videos, what happened to your RC videos? We missed them. Well, you're the only person who's actually asked. <laughs> so can you say we, if it's one person? You mean you miss them? Well, they're not dead. They're definitely not dead. I'm just waiting until the laws have settled down, until they've got some firm bloody base to go on. Because I'm not just swapping and changing. I'm not doing it. I, I do miss RC stuff. I really do miss it, but I'm not doing it yet. Not until I know what the future is. See, this is a bit of a change from normal. It's it's educational and it's interesting. Ow! <laughs> ah, you that was painful. There you go. It's built. I don't like that. It's pointing forwards. But then again, it should slightly. Should it? Mine does. Wow, it's got a face. I'm going to tidy up. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> the only downside I can actually see with this is if it's going straight towards something it's okay but if it's going sideways like that you know it's gonna hit it isn't it those should have been slightly outwards but if you put them slightly outwards it's just gonna look weird it won't look like an owl it'll look like a, a f up squirrel Well, he does a bloody good job of that. It's a bit jerky, but what do you expect? I think I'm going to have loads of fun with um, some of that. <laughs> Chloe, you're going to hate me. Probably not going to be able to see this very well because it's strobing, because it's an OLED screen. Uh, there, oh, there, <laughs> there is the owl bot thing, which has got what do they call it? An expression panel, something like that. So there's various things that you could do. You can remote control it. It doesn't really like carpet. Especially when it's had e-bikes wheels spinning all over it. You can change the face, you can randomly put dots on it and it does that. That looks like a bra. Uh, it plays tunes. There you go. 
Musical genius I am. You can change the lights on the top. <laughs> if I change that. So you can change them to whatever you want. If you wanted. No, that's gone wrong. My radio control skills aren't that bloody... Oh god, I'm pretty crap in there. <laughs> Nothing changes. The cat loves it. <laughs> Actually, he hates it. <laughs> if you could see him now. <laughs> if I had a kid who wanted to get into electronics or Arduino programming or both, I wouldn't hesitate in buying it. I wouldn't. It's not that expensive for what it is. I suppose it's all dependent on, on how strongly a kid wants to get into it and how much sort of how tenacious they are and how much they want to learn and how far they want to push it. Because with this, it's a robot. It's, you know, it's a starting point for robotics. And I suppose quite a cheap starting point. And also they can put the Lego on the top there. <laughs> anyway. Link in the description, go and have a look. And at the other one, the freestanding one, the self-balancing one, that was it. Go and have a look at that one. Link down there, somewhere.